about Looking to shout out to the world what I'm feeling about No doubt I'm in this game to kill it until it's chilling out About to hit the stage and tell these people what I'm all about Yeah, Katana Blade made super sharp Listing all my strengths, don't know where to start A man of many talents with a weakness for broads Hey, welcome to another Coach Johnny video This video is going to cover one of our subscribers' questions About what he meant when someone said you're staying flat and also after working with one of the guys yesterday, saw how he was staying flat and the difference it makes and I thought about how better to explain this. So I hope this quick little video will help you understand the concept of angle and staying versus staying flat. So we're going to slide this over a little bit so we can see lots of it. Now, quite often in the game, the goalie will be facing the shooter as he comes down the ice. The thing is, the shooter will wander to his side, sometimes get angled, get the goalie moving. And quite often what happens with beginner, intermediate goalies that aren't paying attention is they start going like this, watching the guy, and they're moving back in their net. So what it looks like is a lot like this. They get to the post here, and they have problems. Because if there's a shot coming down, they open up a lot of space here, or if there's a shot here, the body angle is here. If you were the shot, my angle's like this, not square, it should be here. Or if the shooter's way over here more, it should be like this. And what it's meant when we say we're staying flat is if you watch my body position with my stick here, my shoulders are always facing up right, no matter where you are. I may be looking at the shooter out over here, but if my shoulders are facing here, my body's square here, we're doing what's called staying flat. A quick, simple, easy way to correct that is remember our stick is our steering blade. Wherever the center of this blade points is where my body goes. So if I rotate the stick and then move, my body will square up. The stick's pointing at you, I move my body automatically squares up. So we use this stick as our steering wheel and we let it guide us. So as we imagine the guy moving off to our left here, we have to rotate the stick to face him and watch what happens. My body automatically squared up as I moved. Again, Try it from the center of the net this time. Let it go off to the side. Our body automatically squares up with the stick. Two little keys to note. If I take this camera as being just above the face-off dot line or landmark, once I hit that face-off dot land or land landmark, I will find myself rotating a lot more than I'm moving. So if I went from goal line up to my face-off dot, I rotate a lot. So as I come in, I'll notice I start rotating very quickly all of a sudden. I don't move much and the shooter moves a lot. But by keeping the stick facing them, my gloves are not following the order of movement, and we use our stick as our steering wheel, we'll find that we stop staying flat and giving up bad angle goals or having troubles with our post and sealing up. Nice, quick, simple fix for you. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching another great Coach Johnny video. Hope you enjoy it. Up, music sounded like this. Shit was sick just to flow over some snare hits. It's different lately from what we get. This kind of shit just make me want to stay home in my bed. Yo, what happened to all the real hip-hop? All the labels too afraid real shit gonna fly. Better have a catchy hook.